Natural disasters like earthquakes make our cultural heritage collapse, but these painful events can help communities rediscover their roots and can offer new meaning to their life and work. Damaged monuments scream out loud their pain and discomfort, their temporary inability to act as guardians and treasure troves of our intangible heritage. However, with the help of new technologies, research and a variety of professional skills, our tangible heritage becomes more visible and alive. The restoration process is a journey that takes time, courage, knowledge and passion. Historic houses are like sacred temples that withhold and protect our intangible heritage. Within them, our rituals can be expressed and treasured. History, traditions, religions, memories and culture. They are hence private and intimate dwellings, but with a very strong tie with the local territory. Historic houses are located in city centres or minor towns, in the countryside or hilltop villages. They are big or small, with gardens, courtyards or farms. They can be part of a production chain for cheese, wine, liquor, jam, honey or olive oil. In Italy, local produce is as important as the fine arts, used in the creation of grand ballrooms, colourful frescoes or enchanting parks. Historic houses are living experiences for the families that inhabit them and that engage hands-on with the upkeep, management, maintenance and restoration processes, but also for the visitors and guests who choose to discover and study these private monuments and their century-old rituals. The custodians of these private monuments have been and still are patrons for the arts and crafts. The maintenance, upkeep and management entails the employment of local craftsmen and professionals. This is mainly why historic houses and their local community are intrinsically linked. Yet there is another important aspect that connects them, that of mankind's well-being. Historic houses and gardens contribute to the social and environmental and aesthetic landscape of a territory. They give insight to our history, oxygen through the century-old plants, but they also tell history, offering a place to stroll and rest from our intense daily lives or from an extraordinary pandemic. We could say that historic houses are a microcosm of the local macro territory. The identity of a specific territory is strengthened by the presence of historic monuments, be them private or public, especially by the rituals that can take place within them. The custodians of historic houses have the responsibility not only to restore and maintain tangible heritage, but also to keep it alive through the expression of the local rituals, the intangible, be it through music, dance, poetry, art, and why not, the production of good wine. After such terrible natural disasters, it is mandatory to ask ourselves, how can I help my cultural heritage? Thank you.